Hey, this is Judah and this is my buddy Nathan. We just finished our three-day canoe trip at Oki Finoki down in Georgia. Georgia. Now, on our way back, we actually dipped our toes into Florida. So, this short little trip of mine, I have visited three states. And none of them are impressive. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I love all of you. Um, so on our third day canoeing, we we were going with a slight current. So we thought things were gonna be a little smooth. Yeah, a little smoother than what uh, we experienced the days before. Um, I have to adjust this angle so you don't see my fat chin. Okay. So, it seemed pretty good. At first. Yeah. At oh, first. which by the way, 69, Gator 69, which is on our uh, previous yeah. video. 69 Gator. We named him Kevin. Yeah. I would like you all to leave comments in a uh, wonder, no, how do I word that? Leave a comment explaining why we named number 69 Kevin. Yeah. I know somebody out there knows exactly why I want to hear it so leave that also I'd like to hear because it was clear that this gator hung out at this platform like that was his stomping grounds so you know everybody who's hanging out there is giving this gator names so let's hear how many names you think that this gator has had in his lifetime my gosh my arm is getting tired holding this phone <laughs> after paddling for so many days holy smokes had to get the uh, tripod to save my arm what was left of it from the trip. Okay, so we, going down this uh, last portion, the, the trail was just as thin as when we were out on the plains with all the lily pads and so forth, except there it was tall tree growth and so forth and overhanging. And I think it got a lot thinner myself in a lot of areas. Like you think it was thinner than the trail, yeah. Okay. I it, would say there was a lot of it that was five to six feet wide. It was very thin. And uh, we had a 16 foot canoe. Oh, and five, six feet wide, but constantly zigzagging. So do the math constant zigzagging, that thin with a big boat. I likened it to driving a big car on ice down like a six foot wide alley that is constantly turning and zigzagging. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It, it was pretty insane. I it felt like intense. everything I did was counterproductive. I, I felt bad for him that I was I like his partner, like, man. He thinks I'm just driving this into the <laughs> into that bush full of spiders. <laughs> He's just like, oh, that's got spiders, I see. <laughs> Which brings me to, gators were not a, an issue. It was freaking spiders. Oh my gosh. First, I, I wasn't complaining, but I was mentioning that uh, he made some joke about how in the morning you always, you know, if some guy's like, oh, I'll, head, I'll go first, you're like, you're, that's fine. When you're hiking. When you're hiking because yeah. they're going to get all the spider webs. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that on this canoe <laughs> trip, but literally I was like getting covered. He if I would have saved, guy. if I would have saved all the spider webs, I could have knitted a sweater by the <laughs> end of the trip. Um, yeah. You're going to look like Indiana Jones. Yes. But the last I, I would have been like it was annoying to constantly have to keep pulling these things out of my eyelashes and off my my arms and stuff. But then the spiders started coming with them, and we had to have like dozens of spiders yeah. fall in the canoe. And I'm not I don't like killing things, but man, when spiders start crawling on me, and we don't know if they're poisonous. Freaking out about these spiders getting on us, and then we're running more into the bushes, which was falling, you know, causing more to fall on us, which yeah, was, was really, really frustrating. Yeah. And going around the turns, there there were alligators, but you got so narrow when you encounter one, like there was no room to get away from it or anything. You just hoped it would go underwater enough to where you could just pass over the gator. And there were several times where we could hear them in the distance a little bit, you could not see them, but you're going all these twisty, windy, jungle water path, and you would hear this low, uh, what the guy called, bellowing? Yeah. Like, I can't even do it. It's but just a very low growl of a gator that you're approaching, and you know you're in like, there's like five foot of path, you know, it was a 
it's like you're, you're going to encounter this gator and hopefully it's not huge and ready to snap at you. So he, he told me that he was hearing this grunting and as I mentioned in a previous video, I don't hear well out of this ear. I wasn't hearing anything. So I, to me, I'm like, I'm not falling for the whole, I hear grunting trick again. <laughs> it's when it he is. <laughs> tries to feed me to an alligator instead of a bear to save himself. <laughs> Right. Anyway, and then the our uh, the guy who drove us back to our destination with the canoe, he said that that was just sounds of love. He yep. said that they were. That he it's said that was not the, season is starting yeah, up. Said not aggressive. That that was just them making their love noise. We stopped at a was it an island? Yeah, Billy's, Billy's Island. Oh, it's in the name, <laughs> Billy's Island. I wonder if it's an island. <laughs> uh, and it was an old like uh, what did you call it? wood? Uh, lumber. Lumber camp. camp. We took Anna some. Farmstead. We took some fun photos there. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of photos, when we were on Round Top, uh, and we took some photos. Uh, apparently, I was being a little high maintenance, and Nathan <laughs> told me to calm down. <laughs> he, well, I think I said calm the hell down. He he was like, "Oh, we need to cross paddles," and all I said was. Do we? And he was like, we don't need to show it to people. Calm down. And I was, then after that, I couldn't stop laughing. And he wants, he wants to take this photo with us, you know, crossing paddles. And I was laughing. And he was like, dude, you're not doing it right. It was, so I felt bad. But at the same time, I thought it was really funny that he told me to calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Which, Oh, it was just so good to me. I was like, oh, okay. I, apparently, I'm just a little too... <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Oh, so we were kind of hope... Actually, this was kind of Nathan's, like, uh, hope, I think. But then I kind of adopted it, wanting to at least see 100 gators. Was that your thing? Yeah. Am I making that up? No, I no, didn't okay. say that. So, so when we left Canal Run, we're at 69. Was it Kevin? Yes, 69 was Kevin. Um... You know we're making it and he's he's like positive oh we're definitely gonna make it but then in that all loop d twisty not not loop d but twisty yeah. uh very narrow stuff we we're seeing very few very few you know we switched to the counting of spiders yeah and uh but then we and get out questioning were we on the trail even yes anymore? it was that bad it's like this doesn't even seem like a trail the mile markers like ended up like in a way just disappeared yeah, they just stopped I wasn't gone. feeling like concerned that we weren't on the right path because to me it was like this is this is the only path that makes sense so let's just keep going. But at one point I was kind of like, man, this is going a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, finally, when we saw Billy's Island, we knew we were on the right track and we stopped, uh, looked at some stuff. Like I said, took some fun photos. I peed on a tree. Yeah. Um, we got back in and then. It just opened up. Opened up, which was so welcome. But at the same so, time, the wind came yeah. in force. Yeah. And I knew that we were maybe like two, two and a half miles away. And I was just, I was ready to be done. Yeah. And so I'm just like doing, I was like going at it, in my opinion, hard for what, yeah. <laughs> three days of canoeing, I can as tell. hard as you can go, yeah. as weak as I am. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, we were going, and then we started seeing gators again. Yeah, they really started kicking into gear. We're like, oh, we might make it to 100. And we made it up to 97. Oh, which number 80, which you hear me proclaim on the GoPro that we borrowed. 80 was, in my opinion, just like massive. Massive, yeah. Huge. Yeah, big. Freaking gator. He had to be 11, 12 feet maybe. And he was like so fat, too. Yeah. He was so big. Mm -hmm. um, so we're making it. And we get up to 97, and we're in our final stretch. We can see. We turn, and we can see Lost our signs at home. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, Nathan, you think we're going to make it to 100? And he's like, I think so. But we're going down this canal, and all we see is one baby gator, maybe about like this. And he's like, oh, 98. And we're rowing and we're rowing and we finally get to the we, place. Where you gotta park your canoe. And I was like, oh man, we didn't even make it. So we pull it up and we're un pulling things off. And then I walked down a little bit and I saw 99. And I was like, oh, Nathan, we made it to 99. And yeah. he wanted to do a fun joke with a, a 
Jay-Z song. A Jay-Z song. <laughs> um, but I said that we would get our, our video claimed real quick <laughs> if we tried using one of his Cat songs. Alright, there's 99. Alligators. We're right at the end here. We're unpacking the canoe. Waiting to get picked up pretty soon here. 99 alligators, not too bad. And then I realized that what I thought was one gator was actually two. So right Boom. at the end, we made it dead 100. on 100. 100 gators. So we reached our goal or our wish or whatever. I don't know. We didn't get any prize. No. I mean, I went in and I told the guys, like, we counted 100 gators, and he was like, good for you. <laughs> and I. I don't know. I was a little bummed. <laughs> he did not care. Um, and then he told me where the bathroom was, which was really the whole point anyway. So we did it. We're done. We're heading home. It was definitely an experience. My arms are ready to go back to just being a mouse jockey. And uh, yeah, we'll see what our next adventure will be. I'm, I'm always trying to do stuff. Uh, but I know Nathan and I, I, I think our plan was to, to hopefully do this kind of thing regularly. So who knows what our next one will be. We'll see how it goes if I don't plan something Stay before. Tuned. Yes. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell us how many spiders you found in your canoe. Um, yes. And again, Kevin, number 69. Tell me why. I want to hear it. And anything else? What else have we got? Questions? Um, drawing a blank oh suggestions of good uh like state parks or wildlife preserves they better be legit because i ain't wasting money to come to no podunk <laughs> stupid crawdad city kind of stuff which actually that sounds <laughs> that actually sounds like, some, like that. yeah like if if i was going somewhere else and crawdad city was on the side of the road that legit sounds like somewhere I would stop just because anyway okay thanks love you bye